you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving a cone now if you look at the right hand side of the screen will you see the cone that is truncated and also that is cut at one side right aa so first thing you have to do in order to develop this kind of um, cone or a figure you have to reproduce that diagram so let us reproduce the diagram and see what we're going to have so the first thing you do is to draw your horizontal line this way and the second thing you do is to draw your vertical line place this on your t square and you draw your vertical line this way can you see that and they are meeting at this point here now the next thing that will be happening here is that the diameter of the cone is given to be um, 88 as you can see so I am going to measure half of 88 which is 44 on my meter rule this is 40 and this is 44 here you can see that and I'll place it at the center here where the two lines meet and I'll mark to the right 44 and I'll mark to the left also 44 you can see that now the next thing is the height from here to here is given to be 94 that is uh, it's given to be what 102 right so I'm going to measure 102 from this point upward this is 100 and this is 102 here you can see that it's 102 then I'm going to join the two lines. Let's say here is A and here is what? B. So I'm going to join both of them. From this point, I'll join this to this point. I'm coming. So let's do that. From A to the point it meets here. Let's say that point is point C. Right? It's point C. And I'll do the same thing here too. From point B to what? Point C. Right? Now, the next thing we're going to do is that we're told that it is truncated at a height of what? 64 millimeter. So, from here, I'll measure 64. This is 60, and this is 64 here. And I'm going to draw a line from this point to this point. This way. I'll take it right similarly I'll take it from here to here since in the diagram from that point to that point is what is ticking you can see that and um, we also told that it is also cut vertically at an height of what 48 so I'm going to measure 48 from this point from 0 to this is 40, 45, this is 48 here. And I'm going to draw a line to mark at that point. This point here is cut at that point. Right? So I'll take in from this point to this point. And also I'll take in from this point straight down. I'll show you the diagram and I'm going to close it up. You can see that? So this is the shape that we have that we want to draw development of that shape. So one thing you need to know, the next thing you have to do is to draw a semicircle at the base of this cone, faint line. This is this way. And you draw a semicircle this way. With the same radius, place it at B, strike an arc on the circumference, place it at A, also strike another arc on the circumference, then place it at this point here, strike the left and the right hand side. So I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to join all these points to the center this way, 
this way this way and this way do you see that so here should be point zero one two three four five and six you can see that now i'm going to reject this point to touch the base of this cone from here to this point from here to this point from here to this point and from here to this point you can see that and i'll take them to the center of the figure from here to here from here also to here from here also to here and from here also to here you can see that now after we've done that the next thing we'll do is you will draw the development of the figure now so I'll just take my C square I'll just pick a point let's say I'm picking this point here right so let me make it more of a star here and here so that point here will be my point what point C this point C you are seeing here this is my point C here now I will now take the length of this cone here right and I'll come to this point C here and I'm going to draw a an arc you can see that I'm going to do what I'll draw an arc so this arc I drew this way I'm going to start laboring them on the arc here when I start, the first one I'll start with is just to take my point from here upward. From this point up here. That will be my first point. I'll call it point zero. Right? That will be my first point, point what? Point zero. And I'll take the distance between any of these two points of this semicircle here. Any of them, either one or two, zero or one, just take any of the two points and you start marking from zero, the next one will be what one, right? The next one here will be what two, we have three, four, five, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Right? This is what I have from here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And I'll take each of those points to the center of the circle here, of the center here, and I'll join it from this to this, from this to this, from this to this, from this to this, from this to this. To this, to this, to this on this to this on this just like that then here too then here too so I see that this is what we have here now after i've done that you now start 
I'll take my compass, right? And I'll mark all these points. This point you've seen is point zero, point one, point two, three, four, five, and six. These are the lines there. So I'll take from C to zero. You see that? I'll come from C, I'll mark on zero here and here. I see that? I'll come again from C to 1. I'll come to C, I'll mark on line of 1 here and here. Right? I'll come from C to 2. I'll come to from C and I'll mark on 2. 2 to here and 2 here because it's a line of 2. And this line of two also. I'll come from C to three. I'll go to the line of three. Place that C, and I'll mark on three in this level. Not in this level. I'll come to four. From C to four. I'll come here. I'll mark on four here and what? And here. From C to five. I'll come on C, I'll mark on 5, left and right. Then from C to 6, I'll come to this one and I'll mark on 6, from here to here. That again. Now the next thing is from C on the line of 6, I have another line again to this point at the line of 6. Right? I'll come to 6 also, mark another one again 6. You can see that at this point here. Similarly, on the line of 5, another point is intersected. I'll come here, take it to that point where it intersects the line of 5 here. I'll come to C. I'll go to the line of 5. I'll mark 5 left and 5 also right. That again. But I don't have enough information here. So what I'm going to do here is I want to get an access to this line here. Is that the key? So what I'll simply do, I'll bisect 4 and 5 this way. I'll cut here and I'll cut here. Right? I'll come to 4 and 5 here also. So if I've done that, I'll take my instrument from this point and I'll aim towards the center here. Can you see that? And I'll draw a line this way. So this point here, I will call it point G, right? And I'll come in between. This is between four and five. I'll be. I'll come in between four and five again. I'm going to bisect here and here, where they meet. I'll call it point G. This is my point G here. Yeah? I'll come in between four and five also here, and I'll bisect. Here and what and here where they meet, I'll call it point G. Is that the key? And I'll now draw my line from those points from point G to point C. From point G to point C. You can see? So this is what we have. So where I'll now generate this line here from this G here. I'll take it up with my instrument here, particularly upward, point G. You can see that? And I will take it towards the center, C. So where it cuts here, that is point G. I'll take my line this way from C to this point here, where G intersects here. You can see that? And I'll go to C here, and I'll mark on the point of what G. So this is G here, and this is G here also. This is what I'm targeting here. All together, so I will not join this point. So you can use a French curve to join. So from here, I can easily join all these points together here.
as well as join all these points together just this way and all these points together Does this way right and I'll join you to from zero to four is closed from zero to four is exposed so I'll mark from zero to four I can easily use my hand from zero straight down to four similarly from zero to four let me begin right and you connect here also from this point from four now have the issue and from this point too all of this is way you can see that because from four to four at this four here you can see from four to six there's nothing there that's why here is exposed you can see that and i'll just close here up And I'll close it up. So this is the development of this shape here. This is what we're having here. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.